effect of temperatures, pretty short <coughs> section. Um, K is related to temperature. I told you that uh, before in the course by what's called the Arrhenius <coughs> equation. And that's K, the rate constant, same K as before, A, E to the minus activation energy, EA, over R, T. Uh, so I'll need to define, I'll define some of these factors uh, in just a second. But K is the rate constant, let's do this now. Uh, get a different color pen, here we go. This is the uh, frequency factor. It's a constant. It's usually given to you. It has, uh, it's related to two things. Frequency factor is related to the collision frequency. Uh, and uh, orientation. So in this course, we'll give it to you, but if somebody had to calculate it, that constant's related to what the collision frequency is and what's the, how the orientations of the molecule are. Uh, have to do with probability of favorable orientation. Okay, R, that's the R you've seen before. R is equal to, which R do you think it is? <laughs> 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. If you're not using the ideal gas law, it's probably this R. You have to use this R because it's in units of joules, uh, because EA, that's activation energy, and energy is in a unit of joules. So uh, you have to use it. This equation, analogous to the cloches clapeyron if you vaguely remember that, can be set up for two points of K, K2 over K1 is equal to the activation energy over R, 1 over T1 minus 1 over T2. This is analogous to the cautious clapeyron equation. If you can't read this part, it says K2 over K1. Uh, the basic concept behind this is that as the temperature goes up, is the rate constant going to go up or down? Because it's in the denominator and that's negative, the rate constant will go up. So as the temperature goes up, the rate constant goes up. As the activation energy goes up, the rate constant goes down. That makes it harder. The higher the activation energy, the slower it will go. But the higher the temperature, the faster it'll go because you're putting in uh, energy in terms of kinetic energy. Uh, I'll say a couple more things before I stop So again, one more time, kinetics has to do with speed or rate of reaction. It has to do with time. Uh, kinetics favors increased temperature or and or small activation energy, like a small pump to get over. Thermodynamics has to do with the energy of reaction and favoring the stable products, or usually a uh, exothermic reaction is favored. So instead of, uh, or I say, in contrast to the kinetics. It favors the lowest energetic state. So meaning you want to go to low energy products and that makes it really favored. Again, exothermic. 